What is going on everybody? Gab Musira, welcome to this new video. Today I will be showing you how to download and install a real tournament for, for Linux. So you have to get through some steps here. So first of all, uh, check this, the description for the, all the links you need. So you got this link here and you, you will get to the a real tournament forum for the download. So I, you have to register to, to this forum to download anything. So you have to make an Epic Games account that you will need anyway to play. So just go straight and uh, put in your data. So I logged in and here we are. So first thing you have to get here to this yes to the Linux client. Then just go and press this link here. And as you see, the download started. It's a 2.5 gigabyte file. And uh, after you unzip it, uh, you will have basically this uh, Linux. Uh, the, the original folder is called like, uh, let me show you, Linux No Editor. So this is the folder you have to extract to your desktop or whatever you want to. And in here you find all your files. I put an icon in here and I renamed it to UT4 for convenience. Uh, place it somewhere um, on your computer. Like, not, do not leave it on the desktop because you will mm, clutter the desktop. That's not <laughs> a nice thing. So I, I just have a user application folder in my home uh, folder. So you see, it's in Italian. Uh, user applications. Then here, here is UT4, and we get our all our files. Uh, second thing you have to do is download an Unreal Tournament launcher. So there is this open source one available on GitHub. So you just go ahead um, with this other link you will find obviously in the description. This UT4 launcher that's open source. It's written in Qt. And to install it, basically you have to follow the instructions in the README. So basically you, you are covered. If you're not using none of this operating systems, you can just go ahead and compile the whole thing yourself. It's not difficult. Um, so after you download the and install the launcher, uh, you will not find it in the application. So if I write UTL, UT launcher, you won't find it because it's not there. Uh, it's just a command line application. So you have to write UT launcher in the in, in a terminal emulator. You just write UT launcher with the uppercase UTNL. You press rat and here you got it. This uh, is the launcher. And it's not it's not everything you need to do. You have to go to the settings and to a real tournament executable. Go ahead to select file and you have to uh, go to your uh, Linux no editor folder I renamed to UT4. So just go here, engine, binaries, Linux, UE4. So you just select this file, press open, and you should be ready to go. But uh, there's, there's still something you need to do because those files uh, this launcher tries to execute are not actually executable. So you have to go um, to engine, binaries, Linux yourself and basically every executable you find uh, which begins with UE4 you have to make it to make it executable so um, you can do it manually uh, with your file manager you just right click properties permissions and uh, allow to execute this file as a program um, if you are familiar with the terminal you can just go ahead and use the terminal instead so you just cd into your folder the linux folder here and then just do chmod plus x ue4 star and this way you give executable permissions to all of these files so these files are now executable and the launcher can uh, effectively launch them now, if you want to make a desktop application, so like a shortcut you can reach in your application view over your operating system, uh, you can just do it pretty easily 
this way so you have to create a new file uh, and give it a dot desktop extension this is the file uh, you have to create so I called it ut4 desktop then you have to enter uh, some things if you are familiar with desktop entries it's uh, fairly easy but if you're not then basically what you have to enter is uh, this desktop entry uh, line over here the encoding even if I think it's not necessary I usually place it here version this should be uh, not necessary to but I'm, I'm not sure so I'm just leaving it there type application this should be necessary categories game if you want to if you use like an old style uh, application menu you will just find uh, this launcher between your game so this is uh, actually pretty convenient categories equals game terminal equals false uh, you can set equals true if you want to open this app in a terminal so you can have uh, the debug information exec now here you have to enter the command you want to use to launch the launcher uh, now if you're if you're using a desktop you just go ahead and write ut launcher but if you're using a laptop uh, that has bumblebee so if you're using uh, primus you have to write primus run space ut launcher like this I'm using my desktop so I'll just go ahead and write UT launcher here name you can write basically whatever you want I will write unreal tournament 4 icon now in the icon field it, you can leave it blank but it, the new application won't have any icon so it will be kind of uh, ugly so we just go ahead I downloaded this icon from Google um, I think it's pretty it's decent I mean I just want to identify it between my apps so it's fine and you enter um, the path to the icon so in my case it's just home Gapmus user applications ut4 ut4 icon.png so you have to write the whole path to the icon and just save the file afterwards now you see here it still looks like a file so you got to Go to properties, uh, permission, and make this executable. So here we go. This is our launcher. So we have to place it. Um, you can leave it on the desktop if you want, but I prefer to have everything organized. So I just uh, move it to the default launcher local path. So it's um, you have to go to your file manager. If you want to do this manually, I will just give you instructions to do it manually. If you know how to do it with the terminal, you can just do it with the terminal. We just uh, go ahead and press Control H to show hidden files. Go to dot local. Here we go. Share applications, and you just throw this here. So now you got your real tournament for launcher between all your apps I can just go ahead and um, place it in my dock um, like before Sonatic it's it's here so we just uh, close everything close cheese bye and go ahead and run a real tournament for so what happens here is that you have, I, I'm not sure if this is the correct behavior. You should be able to select ma to select the server and play on it, but uh, I found that this actually doesn't work. So you just select any um, server you want and just press play. Take some moments for the game to open. And here we go. You need to log in to your Epic account before you can play on this server I'm already logged in this is like kind of an error you see I'm logged in then you can just go ahead and press play find a game and you got your server browser your little server um, let's play on this server team that match all right join will take some moments to load and here we go 
this is the game. Um, it's not quite finished. This is like a preview version of it. Uh, I can assure you that if you like the genre of the FPS arena, uh, Ariel Tournament 4 is really already great. You won't regret playing this game. So just go ahead and give it a try. It's free. Uh, it works on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. So you have no excuses. You can just go ahead and play this game. So guys, this is gonna wrap up the video. I thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Please press the like button if you did, and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. I also remember you that I open a Google Plus community, so if you want to join that too, you're welcome to, and I'll be very happy. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.